on. We lost. We have had him as a guest. His mother, Paul Shore, Polly Shore, Polly Shore's mother passed away last week. Mitzi Shore. Oh no, it was Wednesday, right? Mm -hmm. Wednesday she passed away. But she's been sick for a very long time. Um, Mitzi, I, I mean, essentially they discovered me, which doesn't really mean much to, I guess, you guys. But that to me, it means the world. Lot. That's how you got your start. I, in Huge. fact, I don't think there's one person you've talked about more on this podcast than Mitzi Shore. Yeah. Mitzi. You've credited her, you've credited your entire career to her each and every time. Well, because, you know, you, you look at the Comedy Store comics of today, they, most of them were not passed by her because she got sick a long time ago. So she stopped coming around. So then, you know, people that get passed as a regular at the Comedy Store was done by whoever the talent coordinator was, Tommy or mm -hmm. um, right now Adam Egan, Pauly, and those guys have a lot of say. But um, me, Sebastian Manoscalco, there's a couple of us that are still Mitzi passes. I think uh, I saw, is it Nick Youssef's post? Nick Youssef was, was the, passed. the very last one. He could have been the last wow. one, yeah. He was the last one that she passed. And she passed him, which means she was going senile at that point. <laughs> shout out to Nick. Yeah, shout out to Nick, <laughs> Nick, but I'm sorry, but she was going senile <laughs> if she passed you. Okay, <laughs> sorry, she was starting Nick. to lose it. So started to lose it. But um, Mitzi, I'll try, just, have I told, have I talked about how I met her? Tell us again. Yeah, all right, so I was working at the comedy store in La Jolla, and um, I was a doorman and a bar back and whatnot. And one night at open mic, I ran into Polly. I was a kid, I was 23, and Polly goes, "Dude, there's something about you, brah. Something weird about you, dude." I go, oh, "Thank you," and he goes, "Dude, I'm gonna have you open for me one day." So then like maybe nine months later, he goes, Did you're gonna do Vegas with me, brah. So then, you know, I was working there as, as a doorman, but he flew me to Vegas. And this is when he was um he was doing like five thousand seats at the top of the Riv, Riviera. Mm -hmm. There's a gigantic like showroom up there. And he had me do five minutes. That's all I could do. Mm -hmm. You know, five minutes. Do you remember that set? No, I don't. Wow. I remember being petrified. Absolutely petrified. And there was another guy named Wild Willie Parsons, this old like trucker guy that was featuring. Big guy. And um Polly goes, Deed, my mom's here, brah. At right? the Riviera? Yeah. And I saw her before the show, but I was just like, there's just no way. Did you know the importance of her at that time already? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I mean, we, yeah, we knew that she was the owner. I mean, we, we knew the history of her, but also at the time it's like, you know, you just think there's no way she's gonna like me or whatever. And I went up, and I, I don't know if I did good or not, but I got off stage and she just walks right up to me and she just goes, hi, I'm Mitzi. And I go, oh, hey. <laughs> uh, hi Hello. and she goes um you're a regular at all my clubs congratulations Whoa. Wait, that time? you didn't even have to showcase no her or i did five minutes in front of her wow and she made me a regular you must have done well then it's yeah. not that if i look back it's imagine what i you know the slep king everyone knows the slep king mm -hmm. everyone knows no mm -hmm. every everyone knows um the science of life science and of the alerts. things that and alert alerts. and the things that we you know talk about here you know the the dream weaving the connections mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the spiritual laws between our souls mm -hmm. upper lower case you know energy mm -hmm. dementia marvelous reactions within each other mm -hmm. despite Whoa. interactions without yourself Damn. <laughs> <laughs> almost makes All sense. Right, that so, almost makes sense. And these are things that I believe. These are things that I, I'm going to put down in a book one day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but multitasking within each cell creates an upper hemisphere of life components that we in itself uh. cannot understand, and yet they exist. Wow. All right. I never thought about it. You never thought about it that never, way? No, never. but I'm telling you that that's the fact. It's a new angle. And wow. that's a great, it's it, it's be written in stone. It's written in stone. But the thing is, is that, so you have to imagine this kind of mesmerizing entity. 
yeah. the slap king, the slap king, yeah, as a kid, a younger person, and she witnessed it. Mm. You know, she touched it, she she you know absorbed it, and what what people when they meet the slap king, they ab- I you get absorbed my fluids first. Okay, I exude this like mm. ooze or not a ooze. It's just like I have if you don't if you if you put like what what's the those the aura how you can see someone's aura Chakras or heat or, or heat. Anyway, if you if you are able <laughs> to like a pet scan, no, no, just listen. Cancers? If you were not, <laughs> like the predator, no. like the predator, yeah, like the yeah, predator. Like the predator. Yeah, like the predator. Why didn't you say that earlier? <laughs> like the predator, Got right, okay. right. Like the infrared stuff. The infrared, infrared stuff. Yeah, my infrared heat <laughs> from my body is triple the amount of a normal human being. So Did you know that? Just red. It's pure red, <laughs> right? And it's hate. It's a lot of it's hate. Oh, okay. well, it's hate energy and anger and rage, but. And what happens is that people, um, when they get too close to the slump king, they um, absorb some of my heat, Mm. which then turns turns to liquid, which then gets absorbed into their skin, Mm -hmm. and then they become um, infected. In a good way. Bad and good. Oh, some people have died. (laughs) That's that's really bad. Yeah, some people died. But like Mitzi's witnessed it, you know, and even the five minutes. And so, you know, she made me a regular and... um, and then over the years, she used to come down to La Jolla in her limo. She had this brown limo. And my old friend, Freddie Soto, used to be his, her dr- limo driver. And we would go to this steakhouse called Bullies. Bullies. And we would eat, and she would say wise knowledge like, um, it is a sin to support mediocrity. You know what makes a star? Half the people have to love you, but the other half the people have to hate you at the same time. Like the different things that I still believe today. And um, yeah, she passed away Wednesday and I, like a fucking asshole, didn't go to the service because I had to go to Denver.